Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. So, the SEC have replied to the ruling in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Now, they've done this via a different pleading, but they've basically given you what they think and an indication of where it's looking that they will go from here. So, let's just get straight to the point. It's looking like they're going to appeal, guys. It's, it's very much looking like that. They've said that the XRP ruling was wrong. And yeah, that they've given an indication that they're going to appeal. I'll show you the actual document in a minute so you can actually see it. But let's get into this, okay? So I'm not surprised that they've said that the ruling was wrong. Of course, they're going to say that because they were the ones who filed the lawsuit. So I didn't really expect them to now turn around and say, oh, yeah, you know, the judge is right. We got it wrong. I, I, I didn't really expect that, especially if they're going to look to continue to sue other cryptocurrencies right their whole intention will be to continue to argue that the asset or the cryptocurrency is a security and that's how they would want to sue these other crypto firms and these other cryptocurrencies so i'm not really surprised by that at all the signaling of appeal is the thing that i'm a bit more surprised about and the reason why is just because I did a video on this not long ago and saying the many reasons why it's, it's basically pointless for them to appeal. So let's just quickly get into what the document actually says and then we'll discuss this properly. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to get to the actual point here because it's, it's very long winded and it's just them waffling basically. But let's just go to the point. They've basically said, yes, of course, they agree with the arguments that they did win, which is obvious. Then they've basically got to the point where they're talking about the parts that they lost on. So let's just get to the point highlighted here. However, with respect to the programmatic and other sales, the SEC respectfully averts that Ripple conflicts with and adds baseless requirements to Howie and its progeny. Respectfully, those portions of Ripple were wrongly decided, and this court should not follow them. SEC staff is considering the various available avenues for further review and intends to recommend that the SEC seek such review. So uh, to me, that does sound like they're looking at potentially appealing. Now, it doesn't necessarily say they officially are going to appeal because that's not what they've said. It says they're looking at their avenues, but it does give an indication that they're thinking, OK, how can we fight this? That, that's what it gives the idea of. Right. So let, let's get into this then. If they want to appeal, I'm not overly worried about this because at the end of the day, first and foremost, it's going to take another like two, maybe three years for that to happen. So it's it's not necessarily the end of the world. But I'll be honest with you, I just don't like the fact that this would be looming over our heads. I really don't like we've had to go through so much as a community already. And it's like I just want the peace of mind now. I don't like the idea that they're going to potentially try and overturn it at some point. So, yeah, uh, while I'm not that concerned, it, it is just a bit of an annoying thought to think, you know, they may they may just be looking to try and get that overturned. Uh, my next concern is this. Look, I, I think Judge Torres was absolutely great. She called it exactly right. She upheld the law. She really did the right thing. Right. You don't know if all judges are going to rule the same. Right. So. I feel confident the fact that we won with Judge Torres that realistically we should win again if they were to appeal because the SEC are wrong. It is just that simple. But you just never know. You might get the wrong kind of judge or the wrong kind of people and they might overturn the decision. Uh, look, I'll, I'll be completely honest here. Like when I have been on Twitter just looking at this ruling, there are lawyers who disagree with the ruling. Now, I'm not saying I agree with them. I don't because I've noticed a lot of the ones who have been saying this that they're like ex SEC employees and things like that. So it seems like they all seem to have a very similar type of mindset. But the fact is that not everyone agrees with it. And so that just shows you that maybe if it was to go to a different judge, maybe they would see it from the SEC's point of view. I don't know. I would like to think that they wouldn't because I do think the SEC are wrong. I think it's quite clear that XRP is not a security. Um, but who knows, right? So I don't know really what to make of this right now. Um, the other thing is, is that they could be bluffing. And that is something that was mentioned because this was a good point. I can't remember who said this, but it was someone on Twitter that said, hey, 
let's just look at it like this, right? If they want to continue to go and sue other crypto firms and stuff like that, but it doesn't look like they're appealing this decision, wouldn't that just look bad for them? Because it would look like they accept the decision and then they would say, well, if this was the ruling in the previous one and you've not appealed it, why are you continuing to do these other lawsuits, right? Which does actually make sense. So maybe they're doing it from the sense of, we have to appeal this just to look like we really wholeheartedly disagree with the decision. So it, it could be that. This is the thing, right? The SEC have unlimited resources. They're a government agency. So they've got no real concerns with spending the taxpayers' money. So th they can do this if they want. They're not looking at this from a money aspect. They've got the money if they want to do this. So it really just comes down to if they really want to, they can. It doesn't have to be a thing whether they think they will win. Now, coming to that, the reason why I think they may not want to do this is because if they take this to appeal and they do lose, it's legally binding at that point. So them wanting to sue all these crypto firms and you know claim that everything's a security except for bitcoin that argument is going to fall flat on its face because basically it will be legally binding from that appeal so do they really want to risk losing again and then that's their whole argument on crypto done because you can tell that this whole thing is a grab between like the CFTC, SEC wanting to rule on cryptocurrencies, etc. And so they will lose that battle if they lose this appeal. So do they really want to take that risk? So this could be a bluff. It could. It could also be in regards to like the settlement portion in terms of the rest of the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit because it's not completely over yet. So it could be in regards to that as well. But yeah, there's, there's many avenues as to where they're thinking about this. I'll just add one other thing just to this. Gary Gensler, he's got a very fragile ego. I've seen a lot of interviews with him since this has all came out. And he looks hurt. You can just tell he's embarrassed. He really is. So even just from the fact of him getting his ego bruised from this, I think he might just want to just appeal just based on that because he's just so arrogant. This is the way he's just handled this. You can just tell how much he feels shamed by it. And rightfully so. He shouldn't be doing what he's trying to do. It's wrong. So I've got no sympathy for the guy whatsoever. But yeah, that, that's just another aspect of it that makes me think maybe they would want to go down that avenue. So I'll be honest with you. This is the way I look at this now. I said this in um, a prior video. But the way I would be thinking if I was Ripple, I don't know if I'd want to go down the settlement aspect. Because, okay, let's say they settle that case. So that's just done. They can now put the appeal in straight away because they could try and do a, an immediate appeal. It's called, I think it's called an interlocutory, interlocutory appeal or something like that. I can't remember the full proper name, but they can try and put that in. But it's like less than 10% chance that that will be agreed. So that's probably not going to be an avenue that they're going to go for because it's highly unlikely they'll get it. So that means that they would have to wait till the whole of the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit is over, which is not. They've agreed on certain terms, like they've won some aspects and SEC have lost some aspects, but there's certain parts that are going to need to go to trial. So if the SEC decide to settle with Ripple, then the lawsuit is over at that point. So at that point, they can then put in the appeal for the XRP ruling, right? So if I was Ripple at this point, and I know that's just going to speed up the process for them to try and appeal the XRP ruling. I would be thinking, OK, if we just fight this to the end and if we lose, yes, we're going to have to pay a fine. Right. Because even if they're settled, they're going to have to pay a fine. That, that's definite. But it's just how big the fine is going to be. The fine will be bigger if they go to court and lose as compared to if they settle. Right. So if they look at it from the aspect of, OK, we could go to court, fight it, and that may take another maybe year or two and we lose. OK, cool. We have to pay a fine. Ripple have got money. We know this. They spent 200 million on legal fees. They've got the money. They can afford to pay a fine. OK. But if we settle now, then the SEC can just move quicker to appeal the XRP ruling. 
So wouldn't you think maybe just from a, a tactical point of view, you just think, you know what? We'll accept the fine if we lose. We'll pay that money because as long as we can continue to do business, we're good. So let's drag this out for another two, three years. We'll start playing the long game now, dragging all this out to make this lawsuit take as long as it needs to take. And then, hey, yeah, they can try and appeal it in another two, three years. And it's going to take another two, three years after that to get their victory. Right. And you've got to think even by that kind of time. Gary Genza probably won't be in office. So who knows, you might get lucky and you may have a new SEC chairman who thinks differently and is actually more of a friend of cryptocurrencies and wants to actually do the right thing, right? Or it could be as well within that time that there's actually just legal clarity in America in general. You could be that regulations have passed at that point. So it's not even any more viable for them to try and appeal because cryptocurrencies as a whole have got the legal clarity that they need so if i was thinking from ripple's perspective at this point i wouldn't settle with them to be honest i would drag this out i'd let it go to court drag it out as long as it needs to do exactly what the sec did give them a taste of their own medicine drag this out as long as it needs to be and then let them have to chase up and then they can have to try and file their appeal in another two, three years. And then that'll take another two, three years. That that wouldn't be my thinking. And so whether they're going to do this or not, I don't know. They might just be trying to scare people. They might be trying to call people's bluff. Who knows? But am I overall concerned with it? No, but it is just a niggling feeling of just knowing, oh, you know, is this going to just drag on for even longer? But you got to think, right? Two to three years. XRP is going to have a lot more time to shine at that point because as it stands right now until they get to the court and it gets appealed and it officially gets overturned and that's even if that does happen there's no guarantee they could lose again as it stands Judge Torres decision is law so it's not like they appeal it and then it's no longer law at that point it's a thing of they have to get to the point where the judges actually agree and then it gets officially overturned so up until the next like two, three years or however long it may take, XRP is not a security. So they can continue to do their business as they please. So they're in the driver's seat right now. So by two, three years, we could have easily have got a lot of stuff that we wanted out of XRP. We could have had the price action that we've been hoping for and that kind of thing. Who knows? Some people may not even be in XRP anymore at that point, you know. But even so, as an XRP holder, I do hope it doesn't go to this point, but we shall see. So what do you guys think? Do you think the SEC are going to appeal this? And if they do, what do you think their odds are of actually winning the appeal? In my opinion, I think it's more likely that they will lose. I really do. Because we've already seen from Judge Torres that they that she agrees. And SEC have been in the uh, lawsuit with Coinbase and recently had a hearing. And that judge was also basically saying, well, how have you guys allowed this to happen if you guys don't agree with what they're doing you've basically given them the go-ahead and said they're okay to do what they're doing and now you've come around and sued them so isn't this on you guys for allowing them to do this in the first place they can't even give a great counter argument to that so you can just see how bad these guys are being you can just see how sinister it is what they're doing so it does seem that there are other judges who are seen through what the sec are doing so it does seem to me like a lot of judges are, are seeing right through their game, to be honest. So that does give me a lot of comfort that I think that the SEC will ultimately more than likely lose. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like and subscribe. But until next time, take care.